compact disc that is nothing ever cd in this we are going to determine the width of the groove using laser what is in the groove students listen here this is the compact disc see here the grooves are there okay the circles okay what are those grooves in which the data are recorded okay now we are going to find the width of this groove by means of laser which is a one application of laser what is the formula behind this width of the groove in a compact disc d is equal to n lambda divided by sin theta what is n n is the order of spectrum here in this experiment only the first order image alone can be seen so n is equal to 1 its unit is just no unit lambda is the wavelength of the laser what we are using that is a constant value we will be giving sin theta theta is the angle which we are going to determine by means of this experiment okay now how is the apparatus set up this is the apparatus set up our laser will be kept on the stand and then the cd will be holded by means of a stand and on the screen we are able to see the diffracted image what process is what principle is taking place here means if laser is falling on the cd it will fall on any of a groove here okay so this groove it is not transparent wherever the data are recorded okay it is not transparent okay so it will diffract the light thereby the diffraction image we are able to see the first order image we are able to see on both top and then bottom we can take it as left and then right hand side of the center image is it clear this is the center maxima and on both the sides of the center maxima we are able to see the first order images the distance from the central maxima to the first order it is considered as x1 okay both left and then right hand side we have to see the distance both should be similar okay it is represented here okay zero so, uh, third order that is the center order first order images now let us see the experimental setup here is our semiconductor laser this is a stand on which the compact disc will be fixed this is our compact disc where it is completely clean and then only the groove alone it is visible and the transparent part how we should fix it means this is the position way we have to fix the cd on to the screen on to the stand and here wall is used as the screen which distance we are supposed to take here means the distance between the screen and then the cd it, if it is varied the image will be the distance between the zero order and then first order maxima it will be varying so for different distances of screen and then compact disc okay for three different distances we have to find the distance between central maxima and then the first order diffracted image okay now let me show how this compact disc creates the image now listen the laser is put on okay directly it is falling on the screen now there is no compact disc now i am going to insert the compact disc on the path so see students we are able to see the center maxima okay the brightest part it is the center maxima on both the sides of the center maxima we are able to see the first order images okay now we have to measure the distance between the screen and then the compact disc that is d and then the distance from the center maxima to the first order images okay so this is the way we are going to take the distance now the distance from the screen till the cd it is considered okay this is the distance d and the distance from the center maxima till the first order so it is considered okay this is considered as x1 like the same we have to take the okay the top image first order image along with the zero order maxima okay so these two distances are x1 okay both left hand side and right hand side both will be similar and then the average of those two will be 
considered. Now let us see the readings here. We have taken three sets of readings where the wavelength of the laser light it is considered as 6600 Armstrong degree. Armstrong represents 10 power minus 10 meter. Now if the distance, the distance it is considered as L, what I represented as capital D. So if we are considering the distance between the CD and then the screen as 24 for the first order, okay, both the left hand side and then right hand side, the distance between the first order and then zeroth order it is 11.7. .7. So the average it is also 11.7. .7. So first we have to determine what is the theta value. Okay, the angle of diffraction is equal to tan inverse of x1 divided by L. This x distance divided by L. So it is identified as 25.99 in number. But being the degree, we have to convert that into degree. So listen, 25.99 will be the answer if you divide 11.7 divided by 24. Now, if you press the degree button, automatically it will get converted to 25 degree, 59 minutes, 24 seconds. You can leave the seconds. Just you can take the degree and then minutes alone. So 25 degree, 59 minutes. Now with this theta value, if you calculate what is the D, what is D? Thickness of the groove, it is equal to N lambda divided by sin theta. N is nothing but the order. Lambda is the wavelength and theta it is the angle of diffraction. Okay, if you calculate the D value, it is identified to be 1.506 micrometer. Into 10 power minus 6 will come. It is nothing but the micrometer. The calculation part it is represented here. D is equal to N lambda divided by sin of the angle. So the d value comes as like this. Okay, this 10 power minus 6 meter is nothing but micrometer. Like this, we are taking the reading for three, uh, two more distances L of L value. And then finally, we are taking the average of the d value. It is identified as 1.519 micrometer. So this is the average width of the groove in the compact disc. Thank you.